Hello everybody, my name is Christian Quick, and welcome back to the Express Tutorial. So, in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how our block points down to a texture, and we're going to have to add that texture. So, let's put this uh, to the side, and let's make a textures folder. We can see how it's done in our absolute folder of everything. We got our app, our assets, Minecraft. We're gonna go into our textures, and then here we notice that well, first they have a textures folder, and then we are gonna have so that means that we should make one called just like how they did it. So we'll call it uh, textures, and then inside of that, like just how they did, they have a block folder. So let's go in and add a block directory, and then from here we're going to have to make a texture and shove it in there. I would recommend it being PNG. I personally use GIMP because if you use like Paint, usually you can only zoom in for like 800%, and uh, with this I like to zoom in 9,000%, so a lot, <laughs> a lot better. So let's make a new texture. Most of your textures are 16 by 16. So this is how you would generally make your texture. So we're just gonna uh, we're just gonna fill this inside, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna export, and then we're gonna put it somewhere we know we're going to be able to find it. We're gonna call it the name of our block right away, so that when we export it, we just have to drag it into our file. If you just named it like some sort of default name, then you just have to remember that go into your uh, picture or whatever you put it. Whenever you drag it into your blocks, uh, specifically, uh, make sure it is a PNG file, and also make sure the name is the th same name as the name in your namespace. So, we can restart the world, and with that, uh, <laughs> we'll see if we have a texture. Alright, here we are in our little swarm world we have for the Express tutorial. So we're going to do slash give at s, and then we're going to go for the block. And oh no, it doesn't have an item texture, and I'm clearly holding a block in my hand. What's going on? Well, let's place this in the world, and we will notice that we have this like nice muso black, like blacker than black, absolutely just avoid a black. I love to do this thing. I go into F1, do a little squat, cover my screen, you know. <laughs> And then, like, if I go into F1, yeah, it, bring it back, bring it back. <laughs> Can't have too much darkness. So, with that in mind, we need to make an item texture. So, every everything in your uh, main folders, uh, items do not have block states. So, they can skip this all they want. But uh, everything that exists in the game needs to have a block my model. And it is also going to need an item model. And so let's take a look at how uh, an item points uh, with uh, how they become blocks. Because when I hold it in my hand, it's a block, and that is the item, it's a model. Model is shape. So I still want it to be a block shape in my hand, right? Or what if it was a stair block? So notice how no matter what it is, I just wanted to copy the block. And then we already talked in the last videos a little bit about parents. So if I go into my models item and then I look up my diamonds uh, block and we go in here, we'll notice that the parent is saying go straight to the block that it came from. And we're like, wow, doesn't that sound fantastic? So let's make a new file. We're going to call it uh, uh, block dot, I was about to say PNG, <laughs> JSON. And then let's copy this code, obviously. This is going to be called, the namespace is going to be called uh, the namespace of your mod, and that this is going to be called the block. So this is basically saying that we want the item that is held in our hand to be the same exact shape as the uh, model as a uh, as the block here. So we're going to block, going straight for the block folder, and then uh, we are saying grab block. So that is now working. And so if I was to restart the world, it should now be working as block. And here we are. I have the block in my hand, block on the ground, pick it up. It's on the ground. It's it's everywhere. It's it's working. It's fine. That is how you do textures. So let's talk about that was a little weird. So let's talk about how what special things can textures do? Why do they get their own video? Because they can do a ton of things, and as a matter of fact, they can do so many things that we're not gonna be explaining all of them in this video. To easily give a summary of what a block can and cannot do, a block has to be 
uh, even numbers. You cannot make an odd number. This will not crash the game, but what this will do is it'll make your world look very weird because there's these things called mitmat levels, and you're not gonna you're not gonna want to mess with those. So anything that is uh, divided by two. So if I have a 20, 20 by 20. You know, most people uh, for like texture packs re recommend 32, 32. They recommend 64, 64. But doing anything that's uh, an odd uh, or an even number is perfectly fine, and it won't break your game. However, another thing that you can do, crazy enough, is we can actually make rectangles. And <laughs> what this will do is it won't clip out the textures. It's going to take the, it's going to take how your picture looks. It's going to squish jam it into uh, a bunch of, like it's going to rectangulize it. It's going to squish it into the resolution of basically a 1616 texture. Um, it's not going to compress the the pixels, but it is going to make sure it fits your entire te texture, and it's going to try and fit it in that block. So just for fun at this point, let's fill in this whole thing. Let's also bring in the red lines, and then let's draw in some lines just to be funny. And here we have our uh, absolutely crushed block in uh, one texture. So I just place in the ground, and it looks, um, like I said, it looks crazy. It looks uh, absolutely uh, almost absurd, dare I say. But um, yeah, you can definitely tell how like crushed, like per pixel, there is two and a half this way. And then if I go on here, uh, I mean, I couldn't even tell you how many pixels that is, but you know, there it just it just compresses it. It looks out of place. It looks funny, um, but and, and the best part is like in distance, it doesn't break your um, your render. Um, there are the map levels, like I said, if you break those. As long, it doesn't matter if it's a rectangle, as long as no odd numbers, you are good to go. Uh, in the next tutorial, we are going to be talking about uh, making. Uh, transparent textures and then we're also going to be talking about making uh at the in in the same video we're also going to be talking about making animated textures so that is going to be really fun but with that in mind that is going to be it for this video so thank you guys so much for watching and without further ado 